to the sun with me So I can show you something you've never seen And both you and I should be too shy by letting go for once Come and be free So here we are in the Idaho Falls truck wash. We brought the semi yesterday and had it washed and figured it'd be good to bring the trailer and at least get some of the road grime and stuff off of it. It's been pretty dirty since we've been traveling. We didn't get it cleaned after we left Sydney after the beet harvest and went through some rain and stuff. So, um, so we're sitting here, we just got it washed. Uh, got just a tiny bit of video of it because it wouldn't let us stay out there and and record it but uh, not bad we didn't have to wait too long to get in fifty dollars to wash the truck sixty for the fifth wheel which wasn't horrible um, and so now we're ready to get on the road Everybody, welcome to Salt Lake City. Now that we've gotten settled in, got the rig parked, it's time to head out and explore the beach. It stinks here. It is smelly. Luckily it's cold, so it's not too bad, but I bet in the summertime it's pretty stinky. Yeah, it is real stinky. It's pretty though. No offense, Salt Lake. <laughs> it's very pretty though. Let's go take a look.
down here on the harder pack stuff and it's easier to walk on, but it's stinky. It smells like food. It smells like sewage. It smells like, yeah. It does kind of have like that rotten egg sewage smell to it. So Bubba's found a toy on the beach. What would you find? What is it? It's a cord with a lead ball at the end. I don't know. But you could really hurt somebody. <laughs> right at the back of the trailer looking out we're right on the south shore of the Great Salt Lake and then there's the visitor center to the state park and over on that side there's a marina there's the truck and the trailer so you can see those sites really wide it says it's good for up to a 40 foot rig. Ours is 42. And you can see there's the edge of the campsite, and there's plenty of room to overhang the rear end. So it's worked out pretty well for us. I like it here. I love being able to look out and see that view in the morning, not have anybody right next to you. There's only five spots here. We were lucky enough to get one. We're here for four nights. But if you're coming during a busy season, I'd say you probably want to make reservations. Somebody wants to go in. The weather's putting a damper on things today. <laughs> a damper? Huh? A damper. Yeah, it's putting a damper on. It was a wetter earlier, now it's just a damper. <laughs> a damper weather. <laughs> Salt Lake City folks, yes, we are in Salt Lake City. Just got back from the, I don't know what you call it. The Mormon Tabernacle Organ Rehearsal. Sounded like a bunch of noise to me. He had a good nap. No offense. 
It was interesting. It was interesting. <laughs> Unfortunately, we couldn't record any of it, but. That's okay. Yeah, that's okay. Did catch a good nap, though. He did catch a good nap. <laughs> I had to nudge him when he started snoring. Didn't want him to uh, interrupt the performance. <laughs> that <was> boring. <laughs> What'd you think about downtown? Downtown was wet. It was. It rained the whole time we were down there. But if you want to talk about buildings and everything, well, let's put it this way. The wolf would have had a hard time blowing stuff down. <laughs> it's all block and brick. It is very pretty. The, the residential neighborhoods, which is where we had to park to find a spot for Grace. Walking again huh. uphill. At least it wasn't snowing. <laughs> Might as well have been. It was wet. <laughs> very, very pretty city, though. Yes, it was a very beautiful city. So. I said beautiful. <laughs> after, uh, after walking around downtown, it's time to head over to, I think we're headed to Liberty Park. And uh, it's supposed to be a really big, pretty open space. And there's an aviary, aviary get that word out, over there. We're yeah. going to go check out. All day long she's been telling me about this aviary. And I'm thinking, sweet, airplanes. <laughs> the what? Wright brothers. I'm going, yeah. And we get over there, all right. And there's, uh, there's it, flying things. <laughs> it's a bird of a different feather. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so let's go look at the aviary. Let's go check out some planes. <laughs> <laughs> Such a. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lead pellets because mm -hmm. of the condo. Do you know why? Yeah, because they would eat the prey and get lead poisoning. Why? By eating the infected meat of whatever was shot. shot.
think about the owl exhibit? It's a hoot. <laughs>